when, and I've seen it on patients and friends where they say this was heightened amount, like their blood sugar literally shot up by like 30 or 40 points. And it was shooting up 30 or 40 points. What they found out was that that was a time they're having a very stressful conversation. They're having a very stressful work conversation. Um, they also were having high amounts of dysregulation within their diet. Like, okay, so I had two, two alcoholic drinks or two uh, cocktails. Um, I hate heightened amounts of uh, potatoes or heightened amounts of you know starchy carbs. And their blood sugar went super high. Now, here's the other kicker, though. I've had some patients that, uh, and friends that said, okay, I've been told that white potato is horrible for you. I'm never going to eat white potato, but they would just try it, and they got their white potato, and their blood sugar stayed normal. But they'll eat another form of starch or carbon, and it goes crazy, spiked. Why? A, because that sugar form may not be broken down genetically very well. See, there are genes in your body that actually help you break down certain forms of wheat and gluten and um, white potatoes such as nightshades. And so your body has strengthened genes to actually help you break down if you have really good dominant genes, you can break down certain forms of sugars or carbs or starches. And if you have those in your body, you'll be able to see which forms of starches or carbs or sugars you can break down genetically if you blood sugar monitor. So look 